Hi everyone, Dennis Foley with Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise and the title is going to be Fall Below the Radar because I think this is going to help us understand what we do when we're dealing with noise. First off, there's no such thing as soundproofing. With noise, nothing is proof. There's no absolutes. Noise is managed. That's the bottom line, okay? So we're not going to eliminate 100%. We're not going to get a complete solution. We're going to have to manage and in order to manage, we have to know lots of variables. We have to have quantitative evidence so that we can manage it correctly. So our design goal is to fall below the measured levels in the neighborhood. All right. And in order to do that, we need a seven day noise time study. We need to see what's going on in the neighborhood for seven days. Some days are louder than others. Some days are quieter. We need to know that. That's called noise mapping. We need to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Why do we need to do that? Let's use the drum room. Second largest energy producing instrument of all, next to a gong. So we're going to put that drum room in a quiet neighborhood. We're going to have neighbors 10, 12, 15 feet away. Let's do that, LA style, because that's what goes on in Los Angeles. We must know the frequency and the amplitude of the neighborhood noise. We must know what frequency the neighborhood is producing. We must know how loud it is. That's the amplitude. Because our goal after defining it, if we think about the neighborhood as the enemy, because we want to go into our drum room and bang away and make as much noise and energy as we want. So the neighborhood's kind of the enemy because it'll bite you. I get asked a lot of times to be an expert witness in, in trials where noise is involved. Noise is a health hazard now. You have to be careful. You have liability. If you're the noise source and you're bothering people, you have liability. Okay? You might find yourself in court like some of my clients have. All right? Mostly Los Angeles, where people live six feet on top of each other. So the drum room output must fall below the neighborhood noise levels. Fall below what we call, what the law calls, nuisance value. Okay? We gotta fall below that. If we're gonna fall below something numerically, we have to know what that something is. That's why we have the seven day time study, and we can help you with that. We have apps, you can use your phone. It's a very easy process. Take the measurements over seven days, record it on an online data sheet, send it to us, and then we do the analysis and send you a drawing of what you have to build, and we guarantee it. No company out there that we know that will guarantee noise transmission issues. All right. The barrier that we're going to build, or the shell, that's what it's called. Think of a turtle shell. Frequency and amplitude dependent. So whatever the measurements in the neighborhood are, whatever the frequency and amplitude of noise measurements in the neighborhood are, we got to fall below that. We like to fall below it by about 15%. Some cases 20%. With a drum room, I might go down as far as 25%. You can't guess here. This is serious stuff. You're guessing with people's help. Material density, construction, everything we use in the barrier is frequency and amplitude dependent on the noise time study. They go hand in hand. They're married. Can't have one without the other. Okay? So we have to have make sure that we're knowing what we're doing in terms of noise. If your noise problem is below 125 hertz, which with a drum room it is, the barrier is completely different than if your noise problem is above 125 hertz. So let's instead change out the drum room for a vocal room. Completely different barrier. Completely different design, completely different materials that we would use. Because the noise is completely different. Okay? The neighborhood noise may stay the same, but our output into the neighborhood is going to change dramatically. So we're going to use different materials. When you're dealing with noise, you're dealing with vibrational acoustics and people versus airborne energy. People confuse this all the time. Well, I'm going to use building insulation to stop the noise transmission. You can't. It's not designed for that. It's really not designed for sound absorption, although the usage is perverted because it's cheap. Guessing with noise is a fool's game. You'll guess wrong every time. And here's the problem. You got to tear it out and start all over again. Who wants to do that? Well, I don't want to pay to do a noise time study. Okay, then guess. Noise time studies, $1,500 to $2,000. I guarantee you, 
The noise time study will save you $1,500 to $2,000 in mistakes. Tearing out the whole thing and starting over? How much is that going to cost? Fall below the radar. That's the goal with noise. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.